Hello friends, this is Sagar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Cycle and Parts Room. And today we'll be talking about front chain wheel fix with a hollow tank bottom bracket compared to a front chain wheel fix with a square tapered bottom bracket. But before that, make sure to watch the video completely and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So first we will calculate the total weight of the setup. In this setup, we will include the chain wheel the crank arm and bottom bracket and as you can see i have placed the chain wheel and now i'll be placing the crank arm and now i'll be placing bottom bracket so in this setup we have to consider weight of all each and every individual components including the bottom bracket so as you know the square tapered bottom bracket will go along with the square tapered chain wheel set so it is it is mandatory that we consider both the weights of BB and FC because only considering the weight of chain wheel will not result in the actual output of uh, our calculation. So this is how we are going to proceed. We'll take both the front chain wheel and the bottom bracket along with the nuts and bolts which comes so that we can totally uh, be sure about calculating the actual weight difference between both the types. So we saw that the square tapered setup was weighing around 1277 grams and now we are weighing the Holotech 2 setup. So as you can see that the Holotech 2 setup is weighing around 1100 grams. So there is a difference of 177 grams between both the setup. So here we have our most important comparison which is the three piece crank arm system of square tapered assembly versus the two piece crank arm system of the holotech 2 assembly but first let's look at the specification of the square tapered chain wheel set in fc ty501 you can see it is compatible with 24 speed 21 speed and 18 speed also you can see that the first changing second changing and third changing is made up of fe which is iron then the next box shows the square tapered sign then we have the shell length which is 68 mm to 73 mm then we have shaft length as 122.5 millimeter shaft length is also denoted by a sign called d dash n l then it is shown that the chain wheel is meant for city rides and after which you have 42 34 and 24t this denotes the number of teeth in each chain ring then we have 170 mm as the crank arm length and at last we have a black box showing the color of the chain wheel In the chain wheel, the largest chain ring is having 48 number of teeth. The center or the middle chain ring is having 34 number of teeth and the smallest chain ring is having 24 number of teeth. Our chain wheel is our first component of the three piece crank system. Bottom bracket is the next or the second component of the three piece crank system. Then the crank arm is the third component of the three piece crank system. All the three components are structural members which means while there is a transmission all three of them will take part in it. So here I am demonstrating how the pedal rotates and how the transmission actually works. And now we will look at terms related to Holotech 2 chain wheel system. So the first term which we can see is two piece crank set and HGX denote hyperglide chain. It is meant for 30 speed and the largest chain ring is made up of aluminium. The second largest and the smallest chain ring is made up of iron. The bottom bracket shell length in which the hollow axle will fit must be 68 mm to 73 mm. The largest chain ring is having 40 number of teeth, 
The second largest chain ring is having 30 number of teeth and the smallest chain ring is having 22 number of teeth. This chain wheel is meant for long distance cross country and trail rides. 170mm is the crank arm length. WO denotes that the chain wheel is not having the chain wheel guard or the chain guide. Now we are seeing the Holotech 2 2 piece crank set system. In this system you can find there are two structural members. One is the crank arm denoted by STM1 and the other structural member is the integrated chain wheel with the hollow XL. Then there is a support member uh, denoted by SPM which is the bottom bracket bearings. As I have mentioned earlier that the structural members STM1 and STM2 will take part during transmission whereas the support member SPM will act as a support for the transmission to occur. Here I have a screenshot which I took moments ago from Shimano's official website regarding the Holotech 2 technology. You can have a go through this article. In this article, there is a very important point which is mentioned regarding the power transfer. This makes the Holotech 2 technology as very efficient. This also means that the power transferred from the source, the rider's body to the destination, which means the rear wheels is very high compared to that in a square tapered technology. This concludes that the efforts made by the human body is hardly lost during the transmission. Hello guys, I hope you are clear with Square Tapered and the Holotech 2 technology. And now you might be wondering why I did not cover Octalink or the PressFit technology. So regarding the PressFit technology, it is quite similar to Holotech 2. The only difference is press fit bottom brackets will assemble to carbon fiber frames and you very well know that in carbon fiber frames we cannot do machining or making threads or welding in such cases press fit bottom brackets will directly assemble to the bb housing slot of the carbon fiber frames so now we'll be talking about octalink Regardless of the fact that Octalink is a much rigid and superior system compared to the Square Tapered, most of the companies don't prefer using Octalink because of the high price. This video is fully sponsored by Sanjay Cycles Vilai and all the parts shown in this video can be purchased from the website link. The website link is in the description and also you can choose to purchase items from Amazon. Sanjay Cycles Vilai is an Amazon Prime seller. And if in case you found this video helpful, share with all your friends and your cycling groups. And next time we'll meet with some other component or a bicycle brand review or a modern review. Till then, stay safe and bye.